Hey, good morning, team. It is Tuesday, September 13th. I'm Amy Kaur. Kevin Van Eck is on the road today, so you just get me. But fill her up. I've got a great cup of warm coffee with just a dash of almond milk. So make sure you grab your cup, and let's jump into the next episode of Coffee with Amy and Kevin. So last week, Kevin talked about role playing. He talked about the importance of really practicing so that when you hit game day or when you hit the time where you're going to have a challenging or tough conversation with a client, you feel ready to go. And, you know, role playing or scripting, as we oftentimes call it, you know, a lot of times it has a negative connotation. And I know we don't always love doing it, but really when we role play or we're using or working with scripts, it gives us the opportunity to focus on our language and our words so that when it does come time that we have to be in a situation when we're talk talking with a tough client, the words come a whole lot easier. So today though, what I wanna talk about is authenticity, because I think that's also a really important thing for us to think about in this business. We talk about it all the time. This is a relationship-driven business. We focus on deepening the relationships that we have with people in our database in order to create success. But the other thing that I think is so important for us to think about is authenticity, for us being our authentic selves. And I know for myself personally, when I first got into the business, you know, I was trying to figure things out. I was trying to learn my craft, understanding the market, understanding just the process of being a real estate agent. And and then I also was really worried about getting any and all clients. It kind of, to me at the time, didn't matter who they were. And one of the things that I noticed early on is I tried to be a chameleon and I tried to be all things to all people. And while I did a pretty good job of it, what ended up happening is I was attracting a lot of clients, to be honest, that I didn't love working with, that turned into being really challenging, that pushed back on me, that were just not enjoyable for me to work with because maybe I didn't really connect with them on a real or an authentic level. And it took me a lot of years and a lot more confidence to realize that I had the opportunity to really sort of pick the people that I could work with in this business. Meaning I could choose to turn potential clients away if I didn't feel like we were a good fit. Now, it took me a long time to be able to do that, but what I recognized in the process is that I started developing a business that I really liked. And I did it because when I was connecting with people, I was a lot more authentic. I did and I talked about things that related more to me personally. And so when I interacted and I started developing relationships with, you know, people that were past clients, future clients, people that I just met and interacted with as I was out and about, I recognized I was attracting and talking to people that were a lot more like me. And so it was easier for me to connect with them. And it was also easier, quite honestly, for them to begin to see me as a real trusted advisor in what I was doing in the business that I was in. So over the years, as I started figuring out how to be my authentic self, I started developing the business that I really enjoyed. And so I want you to be thinking about that. As we're heading into fall, I want you to think about, you know, what am I doing and what am I working on to make sure that I'm building the business that I really want? And I want to share this story. So I was just out at a conference a couple weeks ago and there were a couple of speakers that really resonated with me. And the first person that I'm thinking of came on stage and she was extremely bold and she was very loud, very boisterous, had a great voice. In fact, she talked about the fact that her voice was something that always stood out her entire life. And it was something that she hated for so long. But what she ended up realizing is that it was her voice and her personality that turned her into who she was and helped her become the success that she was. And so the reason why I'm sharing that is because I was sitting in the audience and I loved her. I immediately connected with her because as many of you know, I can be loud, I talk fast, you know, I'm, I'm high energy. And a lot of times I feel like that isn't always a good thing. But over the years, I've really sort of embraced 
you know, who I am and, and sort of how I act. And I realize that I attract a lot of that energy and the people that I interact with, I feel very authentic because we're really like-minded. When I saw this woman on the stage, I met her afterwards and we immediately connected, but she was so authentic and true to herself. And to me, that was outrageously attractive. And so then also to, to kind of add to this story though, when I was at this conference, somebody else really resonated with me on the stage. Stage, and her personality couldn't have been more different. She was very calm, very polished, very articulate, and her stories were very thoughtful. But those also really resonated with me because I'm really attracted to those types of people that really are very thoughtful in their approach of conversation and are deep thinkers. And so again, she was very different than the first speaker that I really connected with, but there was a connection there as well. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is these were two different people, two very different stories and two very different personalities, but they both resonated with me for different reasons. So I'm bringing this to you because I want you to think about being your full self and being comfortable being your authentic self because it's very attractive. And you know, you're not gonna be all things to all people. Every person needs a real estate agent, but you're not gonna be the real estate agent for every person. So I want you to think about how can I make sure that as I'm growing my business and really trying to be successful, how can I do this in a way where I feel very authentic, where I'm attracting like-minded people and where I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. And what I also want you to think about is that in order to become authentic, we really have to build our confidence, right? Because that's always been the hardest thing for me. Whenever I get into a situation, I feel like I need to do all the right things so that I feel confident enough so I can bring my real self forward. So this is the question that I wanna pose to all of you this week. What are some of the things you need to do right now in your business so you can build confidence? Is it making sure that you really understand everything going on in your market, that you really know your market stats. Is it feeling really confident when you are in front of a client? So is it practicing your scripts or spending time role playing so that you know how to answer some of the challenging conversations that you may be up against when you are talking to clients. Maybe it's making sure that all your collateral looks great so that your brand looks phenomenal and your listing presentation is top notch so that when you're sending materials to clients, you feel really confident so that when you do get the opportunity to sit in front of them, you can be your authentic self because you, as authentic as you are, is extremely attractive. And when you are confident and authentic, that's how you get more business. So on that note, I hope you make it a great week. Let's focus on being our authentic self, whatever that may look like. And I guarantee it's going to help you get more business as we head into fall. Mm -hmm.